Mankind has not yet found life on other planets, but scientists have found planets that may have a good chance. Here are 15 possible Earth-like planets discovered by scientists. Number 15, TOI 700D. TOI 700D was the first Earth-like exoplanet orbiting a distant star that was discovered by the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, which is also known as TESS for short, and its similarity with our own planet is astonishing. Scientists first began analyzing data collected by the satellite in January of 2020, and the more they find out, the more it appears as if this planet could be Earth's twin. It orbits a red dwarf star called TOI 700 that is approximately 101.4 light years away from us. The star is in the Dorado constellation and is at a later stage in life than our own sun, so has about 40% of the mass, 40% of the radius, and 50% of the heat. This means that the so-called Goldilocks zone, where researchers believe life is possible, is much closer into the star than is the case in our solar system, and TOI 700D is right in the middle of it. It's about the same size as the Earth, having been measured as having 1.7 times the mass and 1.1 times the radius, and it's thought to receive about 86% of the light and energy that we get from the Sun. Years are much shorter on TOI 700D, though, because it completes an orbit of its star in just 37.4 Earth days, and is thought to have very similar magnetic properties to the Earth, which means that it should be able to sustain an atmosphere, too. Number 14, Kepler 22b. Kepler 22b was first discovered by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope in 2011, and since then it's excited researchers because of its size and position. It was the first transiting planet to be found within the habitable zone around a star, and it's almost certain that it's possible for water to be liquid on the surface. It orbits Kepler 22, which is a star that's around 587 light years away from us in the Cygnus constellation. It's far too dim to be seen with the naked eye from Earth but it's very similar to our own sun in terms of age, size, and temperature. The planet has a radius about 2.4 times that of Earth, which means that it's substantially larger, although the exact mass has yet to be determined. Researchers refer to it as water world because of the likeliness that it's covered in a vast ocean around a small rocky core, and as a result, it's one of the top targets for researchers who are looking for where else life may exist in the universe. Number 13. KOI 456.04 In June of 2020, astronomers announced the discovery of a new Earth-like planet that's called KOI 456.04. At around 1.9 times the size of Earth, it orbits a star that's around 3,000 light-years away from us, which makes this planet one of the most distant ones that we know about. Its star is very much like our Sun, and is the same size, about the same age, and emits the same spectrum of light. The planet receives around 93% of the light and energy that reaches the Earth, which would suggest that it has an average surface temperature of around 41 degrees Fahrenheit, which is around 18 degrees cooler than our planet. This means that water can exist in liquid form on the surface, and it's therefore possible that life could be present there too. KOI 45604 is a similar distance away from its star as we are, and it completes a full orbit in 378 days. Because of its distance, however, there's a chance that it's not actually a solid planet and is instead an other object, such as a gas giant. The data that's been collected suggests that it is Earth-like, but it's hoped that the Plato mission, which is scheduled to be launched in 2026, will be able to record more precise measurements and confirm the existence of the planet once and for all. Number 12, Gliese 667cc. Approximately 23.62 light years away from our solar system, is a star called Gliese 667 cc, which forms a part of the Gliese 667 triple star system and is in the constellation of Scorpius. The existence of the planet was determined by measurements taken by the European Southern Observatory, and it lies in orbit at a perfect distance from its host star for it to have an Earth-like environment. On the face of it, though, the planet is quite different from ours, and it's classified as a super-Earth and is much bigger than our own planet, but smaller than others like Neptune and Uranus. It's thought to have a mass of at least 3.7 Earths, but is only around a tenth of the distance from its star than we are from the Sun, meaning that it completes a full orbit every 28 days. This doesn't mean it's extremely hot, though, because Gliese 667c is a red dwarf star that doesn't emit anywhere near as much energy, so the planet is thought to receive around 90% of the light that we do. It does mean, however, that its host star will appear about 5.4 times bigger in the sky of the planet than the Sun seems to us and the average surface temperature of the planet is estimated to be around 39.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which would allow water to be liquid, 
and most other chemicals to work in the same way that they do on Earth. Number 11, Kepler-186f. Kepler-186f was detected by NASA's Kepler Space Telescope and was the first exoplanet to be discovered that orbits in the habitable zone of another star and that has a similar radius to Earth. Its host star is Kepler-186, which is around 582 light years away from us. And there are at least four other planets in its solar system, although these aren't thought to be habitable. The planet has a slightly larger radius than Earth, so it's thought to have a volume that's about 1.37 times that of our own planet. But this is an estimate, and it could be that the two are much more similar in terms of size. Kepler-186f receives around 32% of the light from its star, then reaches the Earth from the Sun. And its orbital position means that while it's in the potentially habitable zone, it's on the outer edges, similar to how Mars is in our solar system. Its distance from its star means that it's more difficult to determine what the atmosphere of the planet is actually like. But estimates suggest that the surface temperature should be higher than 32 degrees Fahrenheit, which would mean that water can exist as liquid. After the announcement of its discovery in 2014, Kepler-186f was seen as a candidate for alien life and became the target of a SETI investigation to see if any radio signals could be detected from it. So far, there's been no luck, but they haven't counted it out yet. Number 10, Kepler-438b. Discovered in 2015 by NASA's Kepler telescope, Kepler-438b is thought to be a rocky planet that orbits a star called Kepler-438 which is 472.9 light-years away from Earth and is in the Lyra constellation. Its host star is a red dwarf that's about half the size and intensity of our own Sun and therefore releases far less light and energy. It's for this reason that Kepler-438b is thought to potentially be habitable because it's much closer than we are to the Sun, with a complete orbit taking place every 35.2 days. In fact, it's so close that the gravitational pull from the star has likely led to it being tidally locked so the same side of the planet is always facing the star. The planet itself is just a little larger than Earth and is thought to have averaged surface temperature of around 37 degrees Fahrenheit. These conditions means that water can be liquid on the surface, which, in theory, would allow the planet to sustain life. But there's a problem. It's subjected to intense radiation bursts every 100 days that are released by the star, and it would be more than enough to sterilize the planet of all Earth-like life. It's therefore completely unsuitable for organisms like ourselves to live on, but it's possible that life forms that are able to withstand the radiation have developed there instead. Number 9. Kepler 69c Kepler 69c is the second planet that NASA's Kepler telescope has discovered around Kepler 69, which is a G type star that's around 2,430 light years away from Earth. The star is only thought to be around 400 million years old in comparison to our Sun, which is estimated to be 4.6 billion years old. It's believed to have finished planet formation, though, and is a similar size and emits a similar amount of energy as our Sun does. Due to its position in orbit, Kepler-69c rotates around its star every 242 days and is about 0.62 times the distance away from it as the Earth is from the Sun, which makes its orbit very similar to that of Venus. It's much bigger than the Earth, with around 6 times the mass and 1.7 times the radius, so astronomers often refer to it as a Super Venus. Its similarity with our closest stellar neighbor means that it's highly unlikely that it'll be habitable, because its environment will most likely be subjected to a runaway greenhouse effect. Any liquid water would be evaporated, and temperatures are thought to reach as much as 527 degrees Fahrenheit. Still, it has excited astronomers because of its similarity to the inner planets of our solar system and it's proof that a variety of exoplanets exist in the universe, and we're getting closer to finding ones that are just like our own. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. GJ-357D GJ-357D was discovered by NASA's TESS telescope and was announced to the world in 2019. It orbits a star called GJ-357, which is closer to us than most at just 31 light-years away. It's in the Hydra constellation and is an M-type main-sequence star, but even though it's in relative proximity to us, it can only be seen from Earth through powerful telescopes. The planet orbits its star much closer than the Earth does to the Sun, but because the star emits less energy, the surface conditions are thought to be much more similar to Mars, with temperatures believed to be around negative 64 degrees Fahrenheit. If, however, the planet has formed a thick atmosphere, the temperature could be significantly higher, 
and it therefore has the potential to either have life or be able to sustain life if we were ever able to visit. What's particularly interesting about GJ357D though is that it's a super Earth and has six times the mass of our planet and is twice the size. That means that even if an intelligent species has developed there, it'd be far more difficult for them to escape the gravitational pull of the planet to explore outer space, so the chances of detecting life, even if it is there, are extremely remote. Number 7. Tea Garden B Tea Garden's star is about 12 light years away from us in the Aries constellation. Despite being very close to us, it's a very dim star, so can't be seen with the naked eye but it's been found to be very unusual in the way that it moves across the sky, as it has a much higher degree of momentum than most other stellar objects. Surprisingly, it was only discovered in 2003, but that's because it's a very small red dwarf star that has a mass of less than a tenth of our sun. It was announced in 2019, however, that two planets have been found in its orbit, known as Teagarden B and C, and that Teagarden B is the fourth closest potentially habitable exoplanet that we know of. It's the innermost planet of the star and orbits once every 4.9 days. As the star isn't very powerful, this means that the planet receives a similar amount of light and heat that we do on Earth. And add to this, the planet is thought to be just a fraction larger than our own. It's therefore quite possible that Tea Garden B is covered in water, and because the star is so inactive, it's far less likely that it has emitted radiation throughout history that could have stunted the development of life. This planet is, therefore, seen as one of the most likely in our cosmic neighborhood to support life, and further studies are certain to take place to see if this can be proved. Number 6. Kepler 442b The existence of Kepler 442b was announced in January of 2015, after having been discovered by the Kepler Space Telescope. It orbits Kepler 442, which is a star that lies around 1,206 light years away from us, and is in the Lyra constellation. The star has around two-thirds the mass and size of our sun, and as a result, it doesn't emit as much energy or light. This habitable planet that orbits is much closer than we are to the sun, though, and it completes a rotation once every 112 days. In such a close orbit, it receives around 70% of the light that the Earth does, and this is enough to sustain average surface temperatures of at least negative 40 degrees Fahrenheit. While that sounds cold, there's the possibility that it has an atmosphere that retains heat thanks in part to it being more than twice the size of the Earth. This is thought to result in a 30% stronger gravitational field, which would keep far more of the gases from floating out into space. Kepler 442b is still considered to be one of the most Earth-like planets to have been found, and one that appears to have all the ingredients necessary to support life. Number 5. Kepler 62e After monitoring the interference of the light reaching Earth from a star called Kepler 62, Researchers working on the Kepler Space Telescope were able to determine that there are five planets orbiting the star. While most of them are way too hot to be anything like Earth, there was one that stood out, known as Kepler 62e. It's the furthest out of all the planets around the star, that's approximately 1,200 light years away from us, and is in the Lyra constellation. It's around the same distance from its star as Mercury is from ours, which means that it orbits once every 122 Earth days. But because the star is weaker, the environment is far less hostile. The planet is classified as a super-Earth because it's about 60% larger, and because of its size, there's a slight possibility that, instead of being rocky, it's made up of gas. Still, it's most likely that it is a planet like our own, and one where the temperatures are, on average, around 26 degrees Fahrenheit, which allows for water to exist as a liquid and could potentially support life. Number 4. Tau Ceti E Tau Ceti is one of the closest stars to us that's believed to have an Earth-like planet and is just under 12 light years away in the Cetus constellation. With around 78% the mass of our Sun, it's otherwise a very similar star, and in 2012 researchers analyzed evidence that suggests there are five planets orbiting it. While most of them are thought to be too hostile or big to be similar to Earth, Tau Ceti E is a different story. It's about half the distance from its star than the Earth is from the Sun, and it orbits once every 168 days. It is, however, substantially bigger than the Earth, with estimates suggesting that it has at least three and a half times the mass, but it's thought that the surface temperatures are, on average, around 154 degrees Fahrenheit. This would make it much warmer than Earth, and has led to speculation that it could be much more like Venus than our planet. It's still seen as a potential candidate for a habitable planet, however, and will be one of the first on the list to be studied when improved telescopes become available. Number 3. Kepler 452b in July of 2015, the team responsible for the Kepler Space Telescope announced the discovery of a new Earth-like planet, 
it orbits Kepler 452, a star that's around 1400 light years away from us in the Cygnus constellation, and is known as Kepler 452b. The description of it as being Earth like has been somewhat controversial because it's much larger, but some researchers believe it's an excellent candidate for having once had conditions very similar to those on our planet. It's thought to have a mass that's five times that of the Earth, and as a result of this size, its gravitational pull is likely twice what we're used to here. If it's made of rock and not gas like some people think, then it's probably very geologically active with volcanoes and earthquakes, and this would likely have produced quite a thick atmosphere. Its position around its star means that it completes an orbit in around 385 Earth days, and it's thought to have an average temperature of around 248 degrees Fahrenheit. This is, of course, far warmer than on our planet, and would mean that any water would have evaporated. But it hasn't necessarily always been this way. This star system is much older than ours by at least one and a half billion years, and it could well be a premonition of what our solar system will look like in the future. As the planets slowly move closer to the Sun, the conditions found on Kepler 452b could be what's in store for the Earth. Number 2. Kepler 1649c Kepler 1649c was described recently as being by far the most similar planet to Earth that's been so far found outside of our solar system. Its discovery was first announced in April of 2020, and it orbits a star called Kepler 1649, which is around 300 light years away from us. NASA has confirmed that the planet is made of rock, and it's a very similar size to our planet with a radius that's just a tiny fraction larger. Unlike the Earth, Kepler 1649c's host star is a red dwarf, which is about a quarter of the size of the Sun. And this means that it has a much lower light and energy output. The planet is much closer to its star, though, with an orbit taking just 19 and a half Earth days. But this still keeps it well within the theoretical Goldilocks zone, with just a slightly cooler environment that would allow for water to remain in its liquid form. As it's a relatively recent discovery, further research is needed to confirm just how Earth-like and potentially habitable it is. One of the most important things to understand is the behavior of the star at orbits. When they're in that stage of their lives, they often emit solar flares. This may not be a problem if you're as far away as we are from the Sun. But in the case of Kepler 1649c, it could be catastrophic. So far, no flare activity has been detected from the star, and it's constantly being watched to see if anything happens. If it's found to be a relatively low activity star, then it's quite possible that an atmosphere is formed on the planet, which would also make liquid water a possibility, making this one of the strongest contenders to have been found for somewhere else that can sustain life. Number 1. OGLE 2018 BLG 0677 LB Detecting planets beyond our solar system is a complicated process, there are no telescopes that are able to visually see rocks orbiting other stars, but they are able to monitor the light emissions from a star and infer that something is orbiting it, based on the reduction of light that reaches us when something's blocking its path. Using a method like this comes with restrictions, and the further away a star is, the more difficult the calculations become. That's what makes OGLE 2018 BLG 0677LB so interesting because it's currently the most distant Earth-like exoplanet to have ever been discovered. It was found by a team at the University of Canterbury and lies at least 24,722 light-years away from us and is near the center of the Milky Way. The star it orbits is much smaller than our Sun, with just over a tenth of the mass, but the planet itself is thought to be as much as four times the mass of the Earth. It also has a much wider orbit, completing a single revolution once every 617 Earth days. As the star has a lower light and energy output than the Sun, and the planet is further away, you'd normally expect that the conditions would be far too cold for it to be considered Earth-like, and it would be almost impossible for water to remain in a liquid state, which raises questions around whether life could develop or be supported there. The size of the planet changes this to some degree, however, because of its increased gravitational pull, it's far more likely to have attracted passing objects like asteroids and kept all gases within its atmosphere. If this has happened, then it's quite possible that it retains a lot of the warmth that reaches it, in a similar way to how the greenhouse effect affects the Earth, and this could make it comfortably habitable. Watch our binge-watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.